Welcome to Sosi Chat, and in this video, I'm going to be giving you a quick walkthrough on Sosi Chat and all of, and all the main features that it has. Uh, to first, when you first log in, and when you first connect with uh, Facebook and create an account, you simply just sign in with Facebook, and this will create an account. You continue. I have a test account called Gingy Crush. You must be logged into your Facebook account. This is a test account, and I have one Facebook page. Okay and it's called my product test page. So you must be logged in with Facebook and continue and you select the pages that you want to work on. I only have one page. Click on next, leave this as default and click OK. Once you're done there, you'll be logged into Sosi Chat and your account will be imported. You'll see on the left hand side, there's, a, there's the menu. You'll see that you click right there. This, you can look at your profile, your activities, you can change your password. So if I look at my profile, you can add a av avatar. You can uh, select your time zone, which is a good idea. Select your time zone, select an avatar. You can delete your account and you can save it here. And let's return it back to the dashboard. You can minimize it, expand it. So if I go back to import accounts, you got comment automation. You got subscriber manager to manage all your subscribers. You got your messenger bot processes. You got your broadcasting, social posting. This goes to uh, seven different social media uh, accounts that you can post to. You got Facebook search tools, your video training and documentation. And there's a lot of different menus, uh, sub -men menus in each one of these. So let's go to the import account. It, when we connected with Facebook, it did import my, my page and you can go to the, to the page directly by clicking on that link. You can delete uh, this, this, pay, this account. You can delete this, uh, this page and you can enable your bot. So I want to enable the bot. So the bot is now enabled on that page. Now here you can uh, delete the bot connection and all the settings in it and you can uh, disable a connection and delete it uh, once again. But I'll just leave it as is. So that page is connected. And you'll see here that if I go to Subscriber Manager, you'll, you, you can look at all the bot subscribers. And you, you can sync your subscribers. So if, you have, uh, if you're with ManyChat or Chat Fuel or what have you, you can come here, look, look at the action, and I can scan and get all your subscribers from many chat or what have you. I only have one, by the way, and close that. And then you can see the list, and now you can migrate them to your bot. So what that just did, it just took all your, it took, it took all of your many chat or chat fuel subscribers and converted them to your bot subscribers right here. Let's go back to the dashboard. Next, we have the comment automation, and this has auto commenting templates. It has auto reply templates. This is all your commenting uh, automation tools right here, and it has a tag machine. So let's look at the automation campaigns. If I click on that button there, you can see you can do your auto commenting. So there's a few posts on here, and uh, you'll see that all your stats right here. I can do, also do auto commenting replies for the for the all of your posts or for the entire page i can do auto liking auto sharing but if you look at the uh, little wheel right here for this post here i can enable auto reply or auto commenting or the tag machine so if i look at the auto reply you'll see that i can use a template if i if i have no templates i can click on no and this is where you do the auto comment reply and also the private reply and what it will do, it'll send a message to your uh, commenters in their inbox and automatically put them on your bot. From here, you got your messenger bot, or your, from here, you got your messenger tools, you got your subscriber manager. Here, you can look at your bot subscribers. You can, if you have many chat or chat fuel, or you're using another service, you can convert them to Sozi chat by this tool here. You can create labels and tags. Here, you can import uh, lists of phone numbers and email subscribers so that you can broadcast to your email and your and your phone numbers and you can create contact you click on contact book you can option you can import 
and you can import a CSV files of phone numbers and, and uh, emails. From there, we'll go to Messenger Bot. There's a whole lot of features here. This is your bot settings when you're creating your bot. You've got your Postback Manager. you got your growth and engagement tools from Checkbox plugin, Send a Messenger, Me Link, Customer Chat plugin. Also includes a, this is for web chat. Also includes a WordPress uh, plugin. It has uh, templates and you can save templates and use them later on other bots and other pages. And also we have a number of templates that you can just use real quick. It has JSON API connector. So if you have a Zapier account, which is free, you can connect to autoresponders. You can connect to a lot of different applications uh, through Zapier for free and uh, do all kinds of cool stuff. Google Sheets and so forth. You have a, war, a web form builder that you can put right inside your messenger. So if you want to collect, I don't know, uh, all kinds of different information with radio buttons or, or what have you, uh, if you want to do a polling or surveys or whatever, you can create a web form right inside the uh, the messenger. Here you connect to an op, to your autoresponder, Mailchimp, and there's other there's others being added. So when somebody uh, clicks on when somebody gives you their email address in their messenger. It'll go right to your, to your autoresponder, and you can do lots of other autoresponders through uh, Napier. Here you got your e-commerce store, and uh, so this is a complete e-commerce store that you can use within Messenger, and people can purchase. It has a uh, payment accounts with, with uh, I'll show you the payment accounts here. You got your PayPal, Stripe, and it's got, uh, also has manual payment instructions, okay. Let me go back to Messenger Bot. So that's your e-commerce, and also has a Woo Commerce abandoned cart. So what this does on on the on the checkout page is, if people do not uh, buy it, it'll send them a reminder through Messenger or email uh, to to come back and, and make a purchase. So it has that feature as well. Here is a really cool feature. Uh, obviously, you have all of your subscribers that you've uploaded or or you got through uh, the engagement tools. Uh, right, right here. So you have lots of subscribers and you can also broadcast to them. So there is messenger broadcasting and there's two different types. Conversation broadcasts where you can send promotional messages or non-promotional messages to your subscriber. The same, the same people are, are, are on both lists. Just that Facebook allows you to do promotional content here and non-promotional content here. Here you got your SMS broadcasting and you can set up a lot of different gateways. So SMS APIs, you got a lot of different uh, gateways that you can use from uh, Plivo, Trilio, Nexmo, Planet. You just put in your API credentials there and uh, you can have multiple uh, gateways, by the way. And then you send out a, uh, once you have uh, your list, through your remember you've uploaded a list of phone numbers and so forth or you, or you got them through messenger you can send out a broadcast to them right here okay send out a, a broadcast and i'll show you what that looks like and send a new sms campaign so you can send a message to your by text everybody's phoned you select the gateway that you're using you put your message right there and uh and you can upload a csv file right here as well and uh, and also you also you can manually put phone numbers right here, and click send and it'll create, click create campaign. It'll send it to people's phones. From here, you got the email broadcasting. Once again, you can select a lot of different uh, APIs, and and there's free accounts. That, or also, if you have your own server, you can you can put your own SMTP credentials in there right here, and then you can click on here to do a broadcast. Okay. A new email broadcast. Once again, you can write your message and uh, select which API you're using, if or your own SMTP, and select which subscribers you can upload your subscribers right here too, because you can upload the lists, or else you can grab them from a page, uh, a Facebook page, and you can click on create campaign. From here, you got your social uh, posting. And there's a number of different uh, accounts that you can import. What this does, you can you can uh, uh, create posts to your Facebook pages. Uh, everything from carousel, video posts, RS, if you have RSS feed from a WordPress blog, whatever, you can put that in there. And every time you add a every time you add a new 
uh, post to your WordPress site, it'll also post it to your Facebook. You can do call to action posts on Facebook and so forth. Here you can also do social posting to a lot of different social media sites from video posting to YouTube and so forth, uh, HTML posts, and look at all the accounts that you can send to. So you import your accounts, you got your Twitter, YouTube, LinkedIn, read it, uh, Pinterest, Blogger, and so forth. Okay, WordPress and self-hosted WordPress. And it's very easy to configure. And, uh, and you know, for example, if I want to import my Twitter account, I authorize the app. There you go. So now my Twitter account is, uh, is, is ready to go. So if I go back to social posting and I want to do a, a text post or a video post or image post, I can go campaign list, create new post, and you'll see that the Twitter is available. So I'll click on there. And I want to do testing. This is the titles for WordPress only. This is the this is the message. Facebook, Twitter, and Pinterest. I only have Twitter connected. Hey, this is a a a test post. There you go. And I can put an image in there if I want. And here's the rich content for blog and WordPress, but we're, but we're doing Twitter. So I'm just going to uh, do Twitter only. And I'm going to come down and I'm going to click create campaign. Oh, I, it needs an image. Okay, so we'll, we'll need an image because we correct, we selected image, right? So let me get an image and I will use uh, this one right here. There's a shoe. This is just a test. I will delete this, by the way. <laughs> Create campaign. Successful. Well, I'll just let me go to my... Uh, it says that it's pending. Let me go to my Twitter. Actually, I don't need to go to Twitter because it's going to tell me when it's, when it's posted. You can look at the uh, view campaign report right here. You can delete it. You can clone it. You can edit it. Click on report. Okay, and uh, it's still still waiting. There you go. It says completed now. Okay, so let me just go to the campaign report now. And there it is right there. Okay. There's a posting report and it's posted. Visit post. There it is right there. See that? With a link. So let me just delete that because I don't want that on there. So what am I telling you is that it does it does a lot of uh, social posting as well to different accounts and so forth. It has search tools. So if I want to do a place search, for example, if I if I do a local marketing and I'm looking for people to do uh, chat services for, uh, for example, you can go uh, restaurant, and I want to look at local restaurants so because I want to approach the owners to see if they have a Facebook page so I can add chat services. Say I have an agency and you want to get Charlottetown. So how do I do that? I go here and I put Charlottetown to find the, at the latitude and altitude. So I'll get the latitude, put it there, get the longitude right there, right there. Okay. How many distance from Charlottetown? Say, uh, oh, I don't know say 200 meters radius. So this is gonna give me all the local business restaurants uh, in Charlottetown that have Facebook pages. It's gonna give you how many likes. So you wanna approach businesses and you wanna look at their Facebook page to see how much they got going on. And here's a place that I eat eat all the time, maybe a couple times a month, called the Noodle House in, in downtown Charlottetown. You click on there and you can see all the stats on their page. So they have almost uh, 1,500 likes. So there's some stuff going on on their page. Some people are liking their page. So let's look at their page. So if I look at their page, you know, they have 1,500 likes. That's pretty good. And uh, looks like they have a, a post last December. The one before that is August. So they only, they only do a post about every four or five months if I send a message. Uh, they have a couple questions here. Can I see a menu? 
Okay, so they do not have a bot. So they don't have a, uh, an auto reply on, on their messenger. So this would be a great thing for if I'm doing business, if I'm doing local marketing, I can phone, I can phone them. Okay, I can, there's their phone number there. I can call them up. Uh, get, I can set up a template and show them what the template looks like for a Chinese restaurant and start charging monthly or yearly with a nice uh, package. Okay, so it does that. It does searches for uh, for anything, any keyword that you want. Very, very cool. It also has a, com a competitor search, website competitor. So if I do, uh, uh, if I do Donald J. Trump versus uh, Bernie Sanders, and I do a comparison of their websites, you can see who has uh, the, what their shares are like, the reaction. So if I once again, if I'm doing local marketing, I can I can uh, you know I can put down this plumbing company versus another plumbing company, and I can see their stats and I can show them what what their what their competitors are doing and how they're lacking and how I can help them uh, boost their uh, their their web traffic, okay, and their social media traffic. So that's that's that does that as well in the search tools. So there's lots of different stuff that you can do. I'm going to show you the Messenger bot, by the way, and the bot settings. I've showed you this page already, but here's the bot settings. It has a lot of stuff inside this here. You select which page. You got your bot replies. You're getting started. Uh, features. You're getting started button. Also has icebreaker questions that you can do. Okay, if you have a question instead of a get started. Here's your general settings. Uh, you can... You can uh, Connect it with an with autoresponder with your SMS with your email, and so when people are giving you their email inside Messenger, it'll send them a, an email. Got your persistent menu, and you can do drip drip messaging. Do drip messaging, so I can select sequence settings, add a sequence, campaign name, and I can have it filtered with a growth tool. And here I can do uh, the first within the first 24 hours because you can do promotional within the first 24 hours. Then after that, it's non-promotional non after that. And you can set up sequences, okay? Add more, add another day, another day, every day if you want, and uh, so forth, okay? So you can do lots of sequence marketing and drip marketing and so forth. So these are, these are just some of the features. I, I don't have time to go through all the overview, but this is the uh, all the stats. And, and so forth. And if, and if you want to see the stats for, for your bot, go here, go to bot. Here's your bot stats, your page analytics for your Facebook page, your bot, uh, your bot analytics. You got a tree view of your pot. You can export the template and import the template and, and so forth. Okay. And so, and so that's all your analytics, analytics here as well. So thank you. This is an overview of SociChat. There's a lot here. We have full documentation and a lot of videos uh, right here. If you want to upgrade your account, you can go to payment and you can renew your package. And uh, you can look at uh, all the different all the different features that are right here and uh, to select your package that you want. And you can scroll up and down right here to see all, to see the differences. Okay, and you can pay by Visa or uh, or PayPal. So this is a Sozi chat and this is an overview and I'll see you on the inside. Thank you.